dehydration is a common problem in children. It can happen because of improper eating habit or diet or they are not drinking enough fluid or less physical activity or sometimes toddlers have fear to go to potty or they hold the poop because they don't want to interrupt their play. Well, the reason can be anything, but as a parent, you need to figure out the problem and find out the solution for the same. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you all the remedies and measures to treat the constipation in children. So stay tuned. and Kirtley Baby. So welcome to I Care Baby. Myself is the same. I make videos related to parenting, privacy and new care. If you are new to my channel then definitely click subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified when we upload new videos. Help I Care Baby to reach out to 50,000 subscribers. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram. It's necessary to take the preventive measure for constipation in children because over the period of time it can result in chronic health issue. From early childhood, parents should encourage and develop a habit of regular bowel movement which can assist in preventing the lifetime bowel issues. So let's have a look at the tips how you can do so. Include the fiber rich fruits and vegetables in your child's diet, such as apples, pears, prunes, avocado, green leafy vegetable, green peas, broccoli, etc. Avoid giving them the food which is likely to contribute in constipation, as well as avoid giving them the junk food. It's always a good idea to eat the healthy, fresh, homemade food. Check out my video on toddler nutrition and diet. I mentioned the link for the same in the description box below. Human body constitutes 60 to 70 percent of water, so toddler should drink enough fluid such as milk and water. Water helps in softening the stool and pass through the intestine, so it's necessary to inculcate good eating and drinking habit from their early stage of life. Along with the eating and drinking habit, it's necessary that your child should be physically active and move around uh, because uh, it will help their body to regulate the ball movement uh, rather than sitting at one place using the electronic device. Nowadays, uh, we have seen that uh, most of the parents encourage uh, their children to use the tabs or electronic device or the games from their early stage of life, so which restrict their physical activity. So it's necessary to limit their access to electronic device and have more physical activity so let your child roam around and move around once your toddler is ready for potty training then set up a regular routine of using potty which will help their body to prepare to do its job naturally check out my video on how to potty train your toddler i have mentioned the link for the same in description box below so let's check out the remedies to relieve the constipation in children If your child is constipated, then encourage them to drink plenty of warm water. Also give them the natural laxative fruit and its juice which is homemade uh, such as uh, prunes, uh, plums, cherry etc. Prune juice always works the best. You can also give oats to your child. So here is the recipe how you can make it. Take 5 to 6 tablespoons of plain oats or powdered oats, 1 to 2 crushed almond and walnuts. Almonds and walnuts are good source of fiber but if your child has allergy to nuts then you can avoid it altogether. 1 4 teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 cup milk, 1 tablespoon of good quality honey. Both honey and cinnamon help in digestion and relieving discomfort. So mix everything together, give it a boil and once it's cooled down, serve it to your child. After trying all these remedies, if your child is still constipated, then it's necessary to consult with a pediatrician on the same. Usually, pediatricians recommend the laxative medicine, so it's good to take their advice and guidance on the same rather than buying something over the counter. I hope that all these tips and remedies will help you to treat the constipation in your child. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll get notified when we upload new videos. Till then, ciao! Oh